body is doing. There's... Fuck. Too many things to count, my lord. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I would <sighs> would cover that, I guess. Uh, the woodworker. Uh, there should be one. If not, I'll just write a note and leave it there. <clears throat> we go to them so frequently. Oh, there from should the be one coming there. Oh yeah. What, what if I, I get? Heard. What if I get so. there before them? What if I run there? Well, then be patient. It's a, it's a thing. It's a thing not but mass <laughs> and anger. Yeah, patience is key in any field of combat. I'm not expecting combat. No, but as tact, as an inspiring tactician, uh, patience is key. <laughs> I'm going to go take a look around for Celine. All right, I'll meet up with you in a bit. Sure. Do you think? They, they, oh, hold on, I'll be right back. Um, uh, guard, sir. Around the corner. Uh, hi. Yeah. Okay. Um. What's up? Starks had it rough. Yeah, fucking feels like that. I honestly thought I was about to be like fucking stabbed through the knee or some shit. Like, <laughs> I was like, oh god, please. Please, I haven't done anything. They're on their way. Afternoon. Apologies, I didn't mean to uh, take Good you away from me. Um. No problem at all. Blacksmith, I'm putting together some spears for the guards. I need five large hafts. Large hafts for the copper get least. So what is that? 80. I'm terrible with math. 60, 160. One, Two silver, I believe. Oh, well, that's actually quick. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, Just either end of today or when you get them done. That'd be great. Thank you. Tomorrow morning at the, at the least I can do. Fantastic. Thank you. Of course. Oh, what else that look for? I'm just here for the tools. That's right. Let's go get them. 
And you did pay me, didn't you? I'm remembering that correct. Yes, I did. All right, and it was the full 50 silver. Dreams. Don't laugh, it's not funny. There you go. I don't think you understand what hell I have to deal with. If he tells there, me no, they, I don't fucking deal with I don't know. know. Is there a reason you're covered in blood? We just got a new color. I was stabbed. Did he just say I need oh, to cool. Right? Anyway, um no, no, rolled all your tools up there and this leather thing. Oh, that die, should be all of them. Die. I hope they fit with die. what you need. I hope so too, because that's what's going to cost the most. Thank you again. One day's work. You really don't. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> there's a whole thing. In... Mm. There, there's this whole thing about um, uh, knowing your clientele when they walk by and knowing which ones will probably buy from you and which ones probably won't. Do you think the woman who's got the short hair, you know, doesn't really give a shit? She's I mean, going to go to dye her clothes. Have a good day. Lorelai. Lorelai. Kyla's taking off to Arn, he's just gonna beat his frustrations out on the metal. <clears throat> I realize I can do this now too. Major. But one of my surgeons was asking for the marshal. They had discussed something, and he was wishing for an audience with him. Up at the keep. Hmm. I doubt you'd be able to send word to him then. I mean, we have runners. We have guardsmen to do that. If you'd be so kind, pass the message along. Sure. Anything else? Uh, I would like to ride out to Cassetto eventually, but with everything going on there, I don't think now's a good time. Now's a better time than any. Really? The place is in utter fucking chaos since yesterday. Absolutely. <clears throat> If you want to go, I can put my armor on. You're not buried in work. Mm. I'm not waiting for my 
good captain of the Fell Harbor to get back to me about what the council wants. Right, what's that about? The warning shot? The Warwurst and her sister ships have decided to show up. The prize gem of the good Grodian council. What they're here for, I do not know. We'll find out. I assume it can only be good things. I would hope, finally, some good news. Quite touching <laughs> that the council shows up after the province has its... one of its major issues dealt with. <laughs> do you think they'd do anything else? We'll see. If you wish to fetch your armor now and leave, we can leave whenever you so well please. For the Absolutely. time I have. Get me when you're done doing your stuff. Very well. We'll go on your word when you're ready. Alright. Young Lord, you have a minute? A minute, yes. <laughs> How can I help? Just a quick sword sharpening if you. <sighs> sure. How urgent. If you have other business, I can wait. I'm about to leave town. Uh, will you be back any point today, if you know? Hopefully. I intend to return by evening, so if you want to swing by then, I could probably do it then. Okay, sounds good. I'll swing by in the evening then. Fantastic. <clears throat> you have good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Sir, could you tell me if you've seen someone in town? There's a lady by the name. A tall elf with hair over one side, dark skin, dark hair, carries a bow. Her name's Lorelei. I need to talk to Lorelei. Um, I haven't seen Lorelei in oh god knows how long. Um, I'm guessing you've probably tried the apothecary. I've tried everyone. The apothecary. The doors are shut. I haven't been able to talk to anyone. I can't remember the, can't, no, I don't know the rank, so. I'm Private Grimhart with the guard. Um, mind if we get a statement, I suppose? Got people hustled in some kind of, you know, bustle. Something to help out. Are you still the losing town? to get taken in? I don't know. Happy hunting. Good luck. Are you asking to assist? With a situation, may I ask a dwarf? This, this pertains to the safety of the town. I'm part of the guard, so official word. Rien, from what just occurred or Rien. anything. I need to get not, permissions not for, from not the for them. Right, that's what I mean. Not for them, for up high. I will report this to the major and see what we can do. Are you in the car? Are you on the same? Oh, yeah. 
Hello. This Dowie's going crazy. There's no one there, so it's just a card. No one there. We all have concerns in many ways and shapes and forms. There's a man Some attached to the side of that thing right for me. Of Is the man He's in the room talking. with us now? He's not here for me. Are you talking about, about me or you? I don't know. I can hear and see Let's him. He is sitting right there. Are unusual these days, especially of a... I, 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 okay. <laughs> you lay up the source. Man, that's... That's some hard-earned wisdom. I'll wait for the, uh... I'll wait for the word. Of course. Sergeant. Um, Lord Earhart. Pleasure. Good to see it. Do you mind letting the Major know I'm outside and ready to go when he is? I will go fetch him. Appreciate it. And report whatever you said, Dor. That's probably doesn't, grim heart, but... Doesn't yeah. fill me with much confidence. I'll go report whatever you said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, Dor. <laughs> um... Uh, there are two people here that aren't here, and I can hear both. One of them is a god. <clears throat> They're still attached to this. Um. Interesting. Yeah, haven't had that before. God. Voices from beyond the grave. Anyway. Some man comes shouting god, about god. some <laughs> mythical beast. <laughs> Must have gone crazy. <laughs> yes, um, slight issue. They can't see this, but I can. I can see both Oak and uh, Bruns on this cart, but they are not here. I can hear them both. You want to try, mm. like, respawning and then, like, coming back? Or... That might be the move. I'm going to go do that. Might. Yeah. Do that. Sounds like a you issue, Dow. <laughs> The garrison just took a heavy blow. I'll be entirely honest, I don't know what's going on, and that scares me. <laughs> the Dowie's powers are great Dowie. and mysterious, Skylar. You do not know how he does this. Some dwarf scrying power. Some things do not need to be answered, I suppose. All this. The Cyclops here. This is all I do to worry about. I didn't think so. I'm the the mythical creature that we find in the library. If you think it's mystical, <laughs> that just means you do not believe it's real. It's very real as you and I. I'm willing to believe you saw this. It slaughtered the horse in the silver knife that I was with just the other night. I see. Standing here by the carts, Kyler, you Where see that the wagon is go? covered in blood and bits of gore. No you see drag marks towards the clinic, bits of broken metal and armor. Uh, Seems it'll have to wait. Shattered. Uh, thank you. Got me all dressed up. Yeah. We'll have to wait a moment. They came from Cassero. At least from the direction of it. It's in fucking ruins right now. Mr. Yeah. Garrison wise. I'm preparing some men to reinforce them, but I'm having to handle this situation now. This is what I meant when I said it's probably a bad idea, but. Yep. Let me know when you're free to go, and I'll be there. Well, tell her water, boys. What does that mean? Major, this is the private that was. Asking for it. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> Private Grimhart. Part of the guard. <laughs> Fucking bureaucracy. Nope. Hmm. 
the keep. Why? <sighs> a couple things. Maybe I can talk to you about it. Uh, is it about the iron mine? Yeah. Kind yeah. of. I'll do what I can. Do you want to come in and sit down, or...? Uh, sure. Unless you want to swing a hammer. I've been trying to, but I keep getting dragged into things, then not. <laughs> Major comes and he's like, Alright, let me know when you're ready to ride out to Cassetta. And I said, is that a good idea, considering all the bloody people coming from it? And he's like, yeah, let me know when you're ready. I said, alright, I'm ready, let's go. And then he said, on second thoughts... <sighs> get his work. He's you know when the whole Ladia thing was going on, I was trying to get in contact with him to be like, yo, I got this whole plan and like you listen to me and everything's gonna be fine and he never got back to me. Yeah, yeah. I I wanna say it's just him, but I think it's just the Imperial bureaucracy. Anyway. <clears throat> so I am a partner in a shipping company. I know that uh, Lord, er the other Lord, the Lord Erdhart. Oh, what the hell do I call him? It, it's really, it's really confusing knowing him as a blacksmith and then like this whole thing. Well, he's the marshal now, so you can't just say marshal. Marshal. Yeah. I just want to call him Z. <laughs> I still get, keep getting called uh, Sharik. I mean, like you call yourself that for two years, people are going to call you that. Yeah, doesn't matter. Anyway, right. so, uh, I know you guys had suggested doing shipping through the Imperials, but frankly, that's a terrible idea. I am a partner in a shipping company. If we can go through Cassetto and ship out through there, cuts the Imperials out <clears throat> of the, the equation completely. Cosero is currently under the thumb of a merc company that is working as a merchant group. They basically have a stranglehold on the city. We would probably have to pay them. That's my fucking company. <laughs> you know Hello. how much I've been looking into that, trying to figure out what the fuck is going on there? Yeah, don't worry about it. They, yeah, they're they're a bit rough on the edges. But How go are they selling the products when they don't have any carts or boats? They don't have carts or boats? That's what I heard. Hmm. Well. Or at least we didn't see any carts or boats. Well, there, there's a difference there. I see. I won't look into it further. <laughs> you understand, though, like, <laughs> allying up with a group like that, you know. They are, they are trying their best to be legitimate, you know? Pivot out of, you know, mercenary bullshittery, trying to be legitimate. <clears throat> That's kind of the reason why I wanted to come here, because I, I kind of want to maybe suggests at like a council meeting or something like that to see if we could actually you know like the uh, council meeting and i could do the shipping yeah uh yeah if you were to do it like this it would have to be above board when we yeah, exactly that's what i'm talking about we had no, to nothing fight below board all we, above board we had to fight to be allowed to keep the iron mine in that small council meeting there yeah. were people against it. They'll use anything well, they can against us to not let us have it. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> why not one of the coin cousins to manage this for them? They can leave the headache out of there. They'll yeah. get their taxes. We brought up the coin yeah, cousins and they the said, who the them. fuck is a coin cousin? Uh, they don't even go down to town, do they? No, they don't. They really fucking don't. Mm -hmm. Um. Well, like, I... I see what you're getting at. I don't know if Arn would go for it. Part of using the Imperial ships to do this is that they fuck off. Right. That's a factor. 
I mean, well, what they just did this morning, I think people are going to want them to fuck off even more. They fired a warning shot at... We can push... Yeah. Yeah. Warning shot at something, at ships from flying the flag of the war wharf, like... Oh, you didn't recognize why? the ship. It, was a, it is apparently the Corocatus's pride and joy, the ship running the front of it. Exactly. Yeah. Well. Like, what? That that's like the stupidest <laughs> thing the Imperials could have done. <laughs> you know how they are. They now fucking, the council's going to want them completely out. That's uh, not going to happen. Unfortunately, the Redods are too in debt. But I see what you're saying, and I, do, I agree to a point, but I. I don't think Arn would go for it. We can try, but... <clears throat> Honestly, I just don't want the Imperials involved. No, I understand. I'm the same. But at the same time, it, it does get them out of the city, and it... Yeah, it can... If we do it through them, it can help the Redods start to pay off some of the debt, is the thing. I mean... As as long as we, how is that going to change which company we go through the imperials or? Well, we have company. to pay the the tithe going through the imperial thing, and we can pay that off for the debt yeah. that they have. And we can, they're getting the money, not the redots. The redots get the large majority of this whole trade deal. We get a little bit. We get a bit. You get a bit. And then the Imperials, we get a bit. Yeah. So we cut the Imperials out of the equation, and it makes the actual province prosper, rather than putting money in the pockets of the Imperials. It's... We need to pay off the debt somehow. Because once the money's in, in the Gale Company, they're going <clears> to <throat> actually invest in the actual province, rather than sending off to a foreign entity. You, I feel you'd have to bring that up to the council for sure. That, if we I'm, are to do I'm it. letting you know that. I'll okay. bring that to the council. I'll write up a whole proposal for them. Okay, let. Yeah, well, uh, you know what? We'll run it by on. See what he thinks. Because uh, fuck me, we tried to make any sort of move in there, and it was a shouting match, Marco. I, I, did, you did would you be... bring them the paperwork? What paperwork? Exactly. For the iron You gotta, you gotta like, write it down. No, 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 just, just like, you, you, you wanna, you want them to know <laughs> something, right? You write it up, you know, you give them all a piece of paper with all the information, say, this is what we're trying to do, and you confuse them, all right? This is, this is all, it's all about subterfuge. It's all about, you know, playing the game of economics. With... So you give them all the numbers and everything, and they look at it and they're like, I don't know what I'm doing with this. He obviously knows what he's talking about. I would love for that to work. So it, it, it's like, it's like you know, it's like the, the cup game, you know, you, you shift the cups around. and I'm familiar. The, cup, it, the, the ball was over here, right? Right. Unfortunately, though, the people up but, there... What, what we do with the paperwork and everything like that is <laughs> secretly we've taken the ball out and put it in another cup. I think you're both forgetting something very essential in any of this, in this conversation. Uh, the waters in Gradia aren't exactly the safest place. The Imperials offer a very much needed security that ensures pretty much the transportation of this iron. This group you speak of, uh, based on what I've heard, sounds like they don't have boats, so to speak, or carts. How are they going to transport to everything without this type of insurance of security? Also, the people speaking at that meeting and the small council are some of the dumbest, greediest, s snakiest motherfuckers that I've ever encountered in my life. And I was a fucking criminal for a long time. They don't give a fuck if they know what they're talking about. They just want you not to be rich. They want to be rich themselves. <laughs> it is fucking atrocious up there. Trying to, to confuse them or barter with them or something. If it, any move that we did, it didn't oh, matter no, what it was, no they would complain. If it was me, the Imperials, aren't whatever the fuck. If you're involved in it, they'll see you trying to step on their turf. They'll get up on it. It's a whole fucking thing. They are. And then I the, asked them, what have they done in the past three months? Yes, everything's been going we, did, we did that too. And the shouting match ensued. 
there is no decor to it either. There's no... Mm. It, it just... Fuck me, it just devolved, Marco. It was... Dario nearly hopped the counter and beat the shit out of them. It was amazing. But on the same hand, we got nothing done. Because these people only see it as a... Oh, this person's doing something good for the province? He must have ulterior motives. Obviously. It's... There's no getting to you know, them. You know, ulterior motives is the safety and security of the province. So I can live somewhere where somebody's not gonna gut me in the middle of the night. Who's that's, that's this upstart... Coin cousin fuck, and who is he to speak at the small council? Where have you been? What are you? I've been making sure this province... I, I, like, I like this roleplay. Like, I've been making sure this province is successful. Sounds like a greedy what motherfucker, another upstart knows, noble here, knows, trying to make his way in the province. I've been here for years! I'm, this is exactly how it is. You will I'm, not get a word in. I... I was here 125 years ago. And now you're you only showing up when you have your money great, in your name and you're just trying to get yourself up here. You're just an upstart noble trying to work your way up through the ranks. We don't need you. Why do we, why aren't we even bothering going building. through this? How dare you? My, my baroness, please. It's, it's this, it's just this for, for 20 minutes. <laughs> And now imagine that with like 12 you, other people. You, you're the Baroness now. <clears throat> you listen to this cunt all day long? I, that's what I said. That's what I was saying. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is happening here? <laughs> anyway. Um, we'll bring it up with Arn. We can work out a plan. If, if this is the route we want to take with it, we'll draw something up. We'll get a plan of attack. But I will have to bring it up with Arn. I don't know if he'll go for it, though. Uh, but. I mean, like I alternatively, said, alternatively, we can, we can uh, split the difference and say we're not mining as much as we know, and we just send the rest of the Gale company and we make a bank on it and don't have anybody else to take the taxes. Well. Then we would be proving everything those dumb cunts up there are saying to be true. We would be undermining them. You understand this, right? <clears throat> yeah, but it's almost, honestly, it sounds like they need to be undermined a little bit, don't you think? They need to be fucking executed or something because anyway. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Nobody say that. Lord, you cannot. You, can, Lord, you can't say Lord. that, my <laughs> lord. You cannot say that. You should have heard the shit they were saying. Anyway, I'll run up the flagpole, see what Arn wants to do with it. We'll move on with that. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> As you sit here talking, Kyler, you hear the major. His voice from the road. Head out! Get out of here! Oh, oh. Okay. He's changed his mind again. Your wife's calling. <sighs> Does that mean I can beat him? <laughs> Good luck. I don't think you'd be able to do it. You need something? Change your mind? All the body has got cleaned up, so yes, you could say that. Grab your horse, we're going. Yep. Bring, uh, where is Oh, there he is. Come on, Tiberius. Is your dad then? Nope. He, no, he's not. In the castle, Dang apparently. Yeah, I know, I keep getting you all worked up and ready to go out somewhere and freaking. <clears throat> Come on, man. Right. Uh, <clears throat> let me go get my horse. I'll be right back. <sighs> Situation is this, Lord Oda. So we're both on the same page. The garrison has been having issues working with one another, as we're both aware. Conflicting orders, people sending things they shouldn't be. It has sparked such a concern that even the masked inquisitor has taken a notice of it. So something is going on there. We need to figure out exactly what. And with the recent attacks, the garrison will more than likely be in disarray. So, who knows what their attitude will be towards us. Okay, you think this is something more than them just not playing nice? You think there's foul play involved? If the Inquisition thinks so, then perhaps. <clears throat> Great. 
They are great many things, but they are intuitive on these matters. I'm unsure. Love it. We'll figure it out. Oh my god. Alright, well, um, shall we? Afternoon. Wait for Tiberius to get his ass into gear. Do we have a plan of attack with this? From my understanding, there's two legions of the garrison, both Imperial and Redon. We go to each of them, figure out the situation, and their sides of the stories. Yep, agreed. Is your right. knight coming? He's taking his sweet fucking time, we have to go. I'm leaving now, Lord Edhard, with or without that fucking knight. Tell him to catch up. Follow that man right now. Follow that man. My lord, I have to handle something. I'll be catch right up. I see my fucking time, that man. <laughs> Don't you start. Right. Let me know when you're ready to go. I'm ready. Not now. Hmm. So tell me about these attacks, because Pretty I'm respect, hearing... Lord Odehart, I had injured men to deal with, but yes, please continue. Tell me about these attacks. I'm hearing conflicting stories. The conflicting stories is the fact that there was a fucking Cyclops that attacked Caserto and the men don't want to believe it. Are they not fighting it? Have they not seen it? Most people have never seen a creature of mythos, Lord Odehart. No, but I'm saying the people that are saying that don't believe it, they haven't seen it yet. These were men from a patrol that saw it. And it attacked the town. From what, from what I'm hearing, it skirmished from roughly outside of the town with it. With the patrol. We're not going to be jumped by a cyclops, are we? That's a possibility. We'll see, though. I don't fancy our odds if we are. What I hear, though, the garrison is down to dwindling numbers. On the Imperial side, the riddles, I'm not sure. From one attack? men come in, three dead. However many are still out there and lost, I'm unsure. These creatures are deadly, from what I've heard from the Inquisition. Sounds like it. I should be getting there soon. As you continue to ride forward, Kyler, you see at the base of the bridge in front of you two crumpled bodies that have been pulled off the road, likely by riders and wagons coming and going. They look like civilians, but what's left of them? They must have been hit by a very heavy impact, as there is nothing much to tell that they were once living things other than the vague shape of meat around a skeleton. So flattened, are they? Taking in the sight of his destruction. Something like that.
riding up to Cassetto. You can see a number of barricades flattened and smashed. Bits of red on the road. As you get closer and come to a stop, you realize those bits of red have meat amongst them. The last time you saw something like this was back in Ledford, Kyler. One of those giant trees made mush of Imperial soldiers. Except you see the remnants of Radad and Imperial uniforms scraped across the road like so much trash. The soldiers here look exhausted, bags under their eyes, likely been on watch all night since the attack in the darkness. Forgotten? I see the town still stands. Yes, sir. For now. Me and the Lord Odhart have business inside of Cassero. I want to speak with the heads of the garrison. Would they happen to be around? <coughs> yes. Just yes, sir. Then I will presume we shall enter now. How's the state of rest of the garrison, though? We had a fair bit of them come in. Rough estimates said about 11 of you left. Not true. Nice. Nice, sir. The garrison's been crippled. Well, a little past half the drink. I see. <coughs> we'll hitch our horses out here at the stables and we'll walk in. Agreed. You have a spot for our horses, Sir Dalton? Nice, hey, sir. Nice, hey, sir. By this stable. Let's see, let's see. Good. <laughs> it will work. Yeah? I think they still deserve it. Whatever the hell's out there. Left of our silver night and now. Make sure we're taken care of. Yeah, I'll be back soon. Hi, sir. <laughs> I know we can't do anything about that. It's just not much else I'm able to do. Thank you for your stuff. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <sighs> right. <coughs> I'm unfamiliar with the Redard head of the garrison here, the Imperial one I've heard about. Two men we need to speak with. Let's start with the Redard garrison head, shall we? It's all right. Agreed. One moment, and we'll let it unfold itself. So heavy. You good? I assume you'll be sending some sort of reinforcement. You should take the helmet off now. Okay. That is the idea. <clears throat> Depending how things go here, there's a force already being prepared. Yes? Permission to clear cut these trees so we have line of sight. No, well, not unless you're given direct orders from the barony. Yes, sir. Cool. Right. We'll see where this man could be. <sighs> maybe, maybe, maybe I can send a, a form. Do a uh, pardon, good sirs. Be careful of going down us. there. It's uh. Do you think anything was going to actually come to this? Godsman. My son mm. died. He was one of your men. Hi. And you're going to tell Where's me your CEO? You have. Yes. Uh, our sergeant is just I'm down there by the tavern. You probably can see him by now. Appreciate it. Please. <sighs> Damn it. Pardon. Good afternoon, Sergeant. Good afternoon. Dead upon dead quite... upon dead upon dead. Hmm. Who would see him? Get to explain to Lord Earthheart exactly what is occurring on here then. As people running, trying to hide. People are dying. Men thrown into the sea, men thrown across this. Stay inside, have a sight. Hmm. How am I? There's something that comes out of... It doesn't make sense. Major. There's something that doesn't exist, but does exist. 
continue with your duties. <laughs> I understand. I... Sergeant, I hate to interrupt, but we've managed to get a count. Over 26 yes, in total. Both sides. <laughs> 26. 26. <laughs> I'm not even sure if Go. that's counting everybody. Some of them are torn apart. We're finding bits and pieces. Go through the town. Reassure the people that we are doing everything we can. Yes, sir. Go. Go. Yes, sir. Tell me about the attack. It just came out of the darkness and started wailing on everything. Did you see the barricade? I did. It put a boulder halfway through it. Watch it, Imperial. Never came to town. <clears throat> it was close. Very close. But, uh, it never came into town, but every patrol out there is... That's it. 26 of them. 26 in total between the two garrisons. Total. Is there a problem? Hmm. So it seems. No, but I rub what came into the clinic today. I should do sharp shooter. We try to give as many and people out. How's a man supposed to sleep if they get no fucking ale? That's assuming they weren't paced. <laughs> <laughs> God. What else? <clears throat> what else brings you here? I'm actually here to investigate some things. Things. interesting rumors we've heard. Rumors. Alright. Like what? Huh? I heard there was an incident the other day where between the Radard garrison and the Imperial garrison there were conflicts to the point where fists were being thrown. Can you tell me about that? Uh, yeah. Imperials. Ah, best of best. They've taken over the... They've taken over the ki local kitchens. For, you know... The simple reason that they don't want to send wagons back and forth. You know, for further supply from notice. <laughs> you do realize what this is? They're abusing the power, the seizing control here. Watch it, sharpshooter. Quite the claim, but continue. Oh, additionally, those precious night patrols, they were supposed to be taken over by the Imperials. They weren't done, at least not for the last few nights. There had been no patrols. I, I'm not going to work with these dogs until this is settled by That's someone of high authority. Precisely why we're here. If you can explain to me... I suggest we break that up. Good luck. Good luck. If you would accompany me to lend right. some authority, there are you. Stay yourselves, you ain't a fucking toad! Stop your fucking hands! Godsman! We've been starving. No more of this. Are we quite finished? Yes, Major. Yes, Major. Imperium, return to your duties before I have you shot. Am I understood? Of course. Yes, Bye, sir. Major. Godsman, if you would. Sir. 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 You gotta understand. Losing control of our care. 
the kitchens where our people Green live. Ship. I come from this place. This and suddenly they the come in and they take over. That doesn't sit well with anyone else. I understand. But um, this isn't. Get out of the walkway real Please. quick. <clears throat> so the kitchens are a big issue then. Big ass creatures and yes. only well I see. see Anything else? We we're here to try and fix this. We're here the to patrols. try and solve the issue. The night patrols that aren't being done. Is that the issue? If we cannot patrol the nights, if we cannot secure anything against orcs or goblins or whatever it may be. No man or woman is going to be able to hold. Looking over their shoulders, staring at the bushes. Sure. Okay. We've got people looking to leave. And they're going to leave without us. No guards, nothing. They'll make the truck alone and be slaughtered. I understand. We're running out of men. Yeah. All right, look, I'm going to look at your concerns, I'm going to bring them up. The Major and I are going to work together to try and find a solution that f helps everyone. But in the meantime, we need to impose discipline here. We need to show these Imperials, we need to show these people how we can work together. This is imperative. This town is imperative. You are imperative. Your men are imperative. Hold on for now. I'll see what we can do on the upper echelon of things, but for now, if you need to, bite your tongue, put your head down, get to work. Remember, we're here for the people. I'll see what I can do. And I will see what I can do. Good man. You should find your Imperial up that way. He's on the other side of town. Alright. We don't mix. So. Probably best for now. Thank you, Sergeant. Of course, my lord. So. <sighs> the overcoming of the kitchens and the night patrols, what do you make of it? Well, if you hear the other side of the story, quite the claim, seeing how he has accused the Imperium of doing a hostile takeover. If the case will not, we'll have to figure it out. You understand where he's coming from, though. He's lived here his whole life. He's oh, absolutely. Yes. I'm not saying he's wrong in his claims, but I need to hear what Maisel doesn't say now. Absolutely. Sit on the side of town, yes. Yes. <clears throat> See if we can go find the man. Went to fucking blows. It's worse than I thought. I agreed. I knew it was rough, but. <clears throat> yeah. Guzman. Mm. Lordship. Run. Where's the head of the Imperial Garrison? Uh, right behind me, sir. Right behind us, Major. I see. Charlie. Of course. Officer? Good. Good. Name and rank. Good day, Major Dario. Hmm. You do not recognize me, sir. Hardly. That's why I asked for your name and rank, so Dalton. <laughs> it has been a while, sir. My apologies. I am Lieutenant Havelock, sir. A pleasure. You recognize mm -hmm. that name immediately. Knight Captain Dario. This is the man who wiped out your penal battalion back in Bedaria. 
killed every last man without any sort of murder. Ripped through your ranks. Brutal efficiency. And scroiled your flanks. And took not a single prisoner, even when a penal battalion dropped their arms. A fellow butcher. Pleasure. Do you have somewhere we can speak? I believe this will do quite fine, Major, if you have no objections, of course. Good. Mr. The Sultan, attend to your duties, please, and you speak of your commanding officer. Oh, Major. Anyway, sir. Very serious. It has come to my attention that the garrison here was attacked by what it seems a creature of myth. I heard the garrison took quite a hit. If you believe the rumors, Major. The rumors. You're saying that it's to be false that there was not a cyclops outside of this town that attacked it in patrol to send men back to my clinic, get them treated. Quite frankly, Major, to me, it does not matter what the fuck it was. It attacked. It does. It defended. Occur to what it is, but please continue. As far as I understand it, we were alerted to the presence of some kind of beast coming out of the Sabine. We did not engage it initially, but when more patrols were called for, we of course were pushed forward. We've been skirmishing with whatever it was throughout most of last night and into today. I assume that you are here because you saw that uh, wagon of poor souls run into the clinic, yeah? Partially. I had received word that the garrison here was at each other's throats, Imperial and Redon, not working together as I had instructed. <laughs> and this is not uh, the first occurrence of this happening, Lieutenant. Mm-hmm. Care to explain what's been occurring? Oh, more than happily, Major. As you can understand, having to deal with a garrison of locals puts a great strain on the efficiency of military operation. If you're looking for blame, sir, I would look at the Rodot garrison. Hmm. And why exactly to blame to them? What have they done to the garrison here? How are they being difficult? Well, for one, they can hardly be called soldiers, Major. Secondly, their discipline is sloven. Thirdly, they pick fights with my soldaten on a constant basis, even before all this terrible skirmishing occurred. All day, it's all the things that I only seem to hear about without soldiers picking at my soldaten, mocking them, despite the fact that we are here to save their little town. What is this about the kitchens that I hear about? The sergeant of the Redod garrison, a takeover, is it? Kefri, you've been talking to Sergeant Kefri, Major. Well, let me put that one to bed immediately as well. <sighs> yes, I took over the kitchens. Do you wish to know why? That's why I'm here, Lieutenant. Quite simple, Herr Major. The Redod soldiers have better and more supply lines and plenty of wagons for which to transport with. I, on the other hand, am forced to deal with MREs, rotten food on some bad days. I was only looking after my own men to feed them properly so they could do their duty. Mm. And if that is the crime, <laughs> well, you may consider me guilty in that respect, Herr Major. I consider you a lot more guilty for far murdered things, Lieutenant. <laughs> but I'll stay at it that. Of course, yeah, mate. As a conversation what continues a... up here, <clears throat> shouting can be heard from down on the docks. You see a Radod soldier and a Imperial rifleman seemingly yelling at each other. A civilian walks up to them, gesturing wildly at them both. Seemingly trying to calm the situation down. 
As they do so, the voices get louder. More soldiers walk over. You see uh, the Imperial shove the Radad soldier back as he's in his space. They strike each other. They fight over the rifle, and suddenly it goes off. There's a red mist. <sighs> And the civilian drops to the ground. Detain Dead. that soldier now. Grab him and put him in custody. Tibbs, grab that gosman. It was unclear who fired the rifle, Major. Yes, my lord. You saw both hands by the trigger. Yeah, I know. I suggest you detain that man and detain him. Get him out of here. Come with me, Godman. Come on. We're moving. Whatever holding cell you can find. <laughs> yes, my lord. I swear, Major. And look, I. Shut your mouth! I didn't shoot it! Get fucking dramatic. <laughs> Do not talk to anyone except me until I get to you. Do you understand me? I swear, the, I swear the soldier. I swear. <laughs> get him out of here! Get fucking dramatic. You sink? That this would have happened anywhere else, we would have been stationed. <laughs> hey, Major. I would swear that that Redard soldier was the one gripping at that rifle and then pulled the trigger. Redard or not, Lieutenant, it is an Imperial property and the soldier had grip of his rifle. They are both in the fault and they will be treated as such because it is both the fault of the Imperium of the Redard. Absolutely so not! Shut your mouth! He's the one that pulled the trigger! Lieutenant. He's the one that took no, his no, place! Nice. Or so help me God, I will have the mass inquisitor here and have you shot before the night. <laughs> Shoot me. Eleven officers. Who are you going to put here? Sit me up. Yeah. Talk, talk. You will fall into line. <laughs> I will not have him <laughs> shot, but I will have him <laughs> follow my a blanket over him. to the fucking letter. Rather, you are a fellow butcher or not, you are a man of no honor. <laughs> so you will follow my orders and follow the chain of command to a letter. <laughs> the rifleman has been put in hands and sent to the barracks as for your order, Herr Major. The man has been confined. <laughs> And, and put in chains. I believe I still have further questions. <clears throat> Good. We'll talk to him in a bit. <laughs> By all means. So you want me? I... Shall we spoken to him for you? Shall we... Oh, uh, Lord. <laughs> we have questions to continue with. You go now in Marshal Dalton to deal with this. If you would. Please wait until me. Why, it looks worse than yesterday. Let's cover the man. Blood and the brain matters. The kitchen aside, you're taking it over due to the fact that the Redards have a better supply line and that your rations were less than sufficient. Is that what I'm hearing from this? The hostile takeover, if you would. That would be correct, Sir Major. The reason being, you were looking after your men. Is that correct? Correct, Sir Major. Crime or not, in the eyes of the Redards, that is pictured or painted a picture of us taking their land. We'll handle that situation another time. The thing that strikes me most is the fact that they had claimed that patrols on the Imperium side was not doing their job. Not out and about. So he has turned from simple twisting the situation into full out lies, Herr Major. That is interesting to hear. I shall have to talk to him about this. Permission to use um, less than ideal language, Herr Major. Choose your words carefully, but continue. The sergeant, Herr Major, is full of shit. 
last week was in the hands of the Radots. They were supposed to handle the night patrols, while my men were supposed to handle the dogs. This clearly indicates that our presence here is being directly undermined by the Radots. And if you don't believe me, <laughs> please go check with the scribe. He will show you just how wrong these people are. I see. Very well then. I believe that is all my questions and what I wanted to touch up on. See to your garrison and to the men that they start doing what is necessary to better coexist with the Redogs. There will be a reinforcement sent here to the garrison soon, about 30 men or so. I trust that these men will be well acquainted and conditioned to work with their counterparts. I can promise you, Herr Major, there shall be no problems for many of our soldaten. You're dismissed. <clears throat> Doesn't really mean words. Stories. Uh, well, the kitchen thing should be an easy fix, no? Sure. The Redod's having an ample supply chain from what the sergeant had claimed. We could share it. Uh, Stick more rations on those garrisons. From the, for the Imperials, I agree. And then they could have their kitchen back. How does that sound? That could work. They have to... The thing that is irking me, though, is these patrols. I agree. We'll speak to the scribe that... They have to understand that they are here, they're and on from station. Here the crimson, red, and chunks of pink can be seen strewn across the port. They have to understand that they're both here on station. This isn't a fucking holiday for either side. I mean, they shouldn't be having home-cooked meals every fucking night. If they have to eat rations, and they have to eat rations. That's just the short of it. To both sides. Clearly so. I will not have my men suffer rotten rations, if that is truly the case. Nor should you. We'll stick- we'll stick extra rations on the cars the Redards bring in. That way we share in the supply chain. That's handled. I agree. In return, though, I would expect the kitchens to be sent back to the original holders. We'll have to work it out, but I'm sure we can reach the accord there. <clears throat> or at least... I want to say shared, but I worry it would be a point of friction either way. <clears throat> I know. Regardless, we need to figure out about this patrol situation. We talked to the scribe. The, um, scribe. Did he say where he could be? I thought I saw someone with a book down that way. Halstead. Then I'll be at the, uh... What's on your mind? Yeah. The next one's on the, uh, up to the top level. Just yeah. trying to catch up what's happening. The way the god was stating, he said he was under threats continuously. It's a matter of the way for another time. Right we have to go speak with the scribe. Let's go up to the top. Talk to the scribe and then we'll yeah. speak to the rifleman and the soldier as well. Figure out exactly what happened there. <clears throat> as far as I'm concerned, we're both to blame for that. What'd you see? Um, we should probably keep this one up here. This looks hey. like it. <clears throat> Thank you. There's a scribe in here. Yes, do you have an appointment? The Major Dario and Lord Erdhard wish to speak with said scribe. It is of an urgent matter. Ah, Major. Lord, please come in. I'm making lunch. Hmm. Please sit. 
Let's see. How may this old scribe help you today? Hold it on. You wish to explain? We're here investigating some matters of friction between the Radard garrison and the Imperial garrison here. We've heard some conflicting stories on who mm. is conducting what night patrols. Uh, we're wondering if you had a record of sorts that we could look at. A record of sorts? Um, oh my gosh. Everything gets so confusing these days. If you have the time, please uh, join me. We're on a bit of a tight schedule, but far be it. Very well. If you're looking for records, um, <clears throat> I suppose I keep them not in here, in the next room. Be right back. <clears throat> oh, good luck. <sighs> if you don't mind, you there. Go upstairs and gather the, the records of the recent developments. <clears throat> Will do, sir. Thank you. You have to excuse us. It's been quite a hell of a morning. I bet. So it seems. What has been your personal experience with this matter, out of curiosity? What is in mind? Well, I must say. If people keep telling me things are dire and they don't get into the specifics, and then I have to write down their crazy harebrained schemes. You've seen conflict me between the two and... garrisons yourself? Uh, no. Everything appears to be in order, as it should be. Nothing out of place. <laughs> as should be. <clears throat> oh, there you are. Here you go, sir. All right. Well then, <clears throat> let me see here. <clears throat> All right, these are the two reports. <clears throat> let me see. The scribe puts down scroll after scroll and begins meticulously opening and flipping through the many pages that have been scrolled and folded together. Uh, why are these banded together so tightly? I've been busy. You have to apologize. Okay. Let me see. Is it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Do I have my eyes to see me? No, no. This is peculiar, Major. Sure. These reports are in the correct parchment, the correct ink, the right... Wait a minute. This wording. This is not... this is not my handwriting. Wait a minute. No, no, I... I have... Where is it? Missives for my family, of course. This is mine. Whose is this? It's completely different. These are not my reports. Oh, heavens. Major, this is, uh, this is not good. These are two reports. One uh, for, obviously, uh, the Imperium. <clears throat> and this was for... The Redort sentiment here in the uh, Gazetta. Uh, I don't know how to tell you this. These are not mine, but these are official records. That 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 seal <clears throat> that seal of mine was was pilfered. They've both been replaced. Has anyone been in here that's not supposed to be? Any this is my seal. this is my seal on both and one from each of the companies. This is let me see. This. Both garrisons were listed as off patrol, Major. Um, don't know how to make of this. How did this get by? 
Um, I have no idea. It, it wasn't. It wasn't my work. I promise you. I swear the emperor here and now and forever. <clears throat> This is why I had asked, has anyone been in here that is not supposed to be stationed that the guards have noticed? Only, only the, the right guard is supposed to come through. Someone Kyle must have tampered with the these. It looks yeah. identical to everything else. Yeah. He's gonna check this is my, seal. This is my missive. Well, 16, the seal is exact. It must have it, been used. It, it's it's this one here. <clears throat> there are no What's copies the, of this. This is my secondary. Well, I mean, some of these sometimes they get two use. You have to get an extra. You said it was your secondary. I thought I just misplaced it. Um, it, it might still be around here somewhere. Uh, everything's so littered ever since. Well, it, it was hastily brought upon me to keep records of all these things, but. Oh, I feel the fool, unfortunately, my lord. As do we all. My goodness. The 13, Kyler. You can tell, however, <clears throat> the writing that looks nearly identical to the scribes. It is indeed nearly identical. It's not the same handwriting. Very carefully practiced. I, unless my mind is gone, I'm, I'm sorry. Not sure if it's a professional, but whoever did it prepared very carefully. He must have been doing it for a while. Unless dementia has taken to me as I feared, as it did my father. Guardsman, are you sure these are the right reports? Are you playing a, are you playing me a fool? Uh, no, sir. Uh, I, I swear I went through the record. I'm uh, I'm record sorry I yelled at you. Leave these uh, reports shows. with us. If we could have the room but for a moment. Of course I am but your servant. I will take my lunch. <sighs> Gracious, uh, what could have happened? So, a mix of actual friction Maybe and sure. clearly foul play. So it seems. Whoever it is, I clearly have a vendetta and or as an organized goal here. Remember, I told you before we left, not this. The mass inquisitor had suspected that Probably we don't burn for there are some soldiers of question that he is hunting you must yeah, specifically here in Casero <laughs> men that don't officially <laughs> exist with his age catching up to him. the same men Sure, and the Inquisition else. believes attacked Be your father. These days I can scan Man that Victor mind. didn't even send. That mm. is troubling, to say the least. And whoever this is, is either working for the Inquisition or out of their own accord. I do not know which. But the proof states that whoever is falsifying these orders is seeking to sow sure chaos. We are, sir. <clears throat> we are, we are. Until we root them out, perhaps we can have copies of these sent to us personally. If I should go, I want Each you time that they've made, so put some here uh, and then send the other copies there. It makes it harder for people to switch them out on us. Oh, yeah. We need these patrols. Sorry, sorry. Try my best to, to we do. We only issue lies with both the garrison getting along and whoever is mysteriously falsifying these orders. You are working outside of the bounds. Well, check your men, run them through whoever's here, and if they seem like they're. Well, they don't have anything or any documentation or whatever the fuck you guys do, or if they've been transferred from. What was it that 
fifth, fourth rifle, or whatever the fuck it was, because they're involved. Six rifles, which, oh, funny enough, to... doesn't exist. This is again. You need to get your Imperium sorted out. Mass Inquisitor. No, I think it's far beyond that. He's not involved in this, if it's an Inquisition thing. The Inquisition's full of infighting. Trust me. At the very most, it's a that makes this very hard. Besides the point. I dare not think it. It does. Well, we can do what we can here to stop this from occurring. Grab the sergeant of the garrison, I'll grab the lieutenant. Understood. We can have a word with them together. How is the missus in the family? Do we want to talk to, uh... Doing quite well. <laughs> those guardsmen and the riflemen in... Related to what happened, or is it that just kind If you of... wish, before we leave, that is up to you. Should we make it out of this? Tell them. Uh, <sighs> I don't think we can learn anything else. Grab these officers. <laughs> right. Well, they will be delighted <clears throat> to hear from you again, sir. You want to keep I'll that documentation? Sure. Scribe! Uh, uh, yes. We'll be taking the documentation with us. Any of reports or orders that I made, I want a copy sent to my office. Uh, oh, do you wish to sign the letter that it's going into your care, sir? I will before I leave. We're off to go oh, back very, to the offices good. of the garrisons. Uh, Corporal Keane, sir, should I bring you the ledgers to sign off? I want the scribe to do it, so Dalton. Thank you. Oh, uh, very good. I usually go Thank with you, them, but Major. so be it, sir. Mm. <coughs> you do You're better than any in the eyes of God. <laughs> very good. <laughs> I will prepare those immediately. We'll wait for them. Quite right. <clears throat> oh, where's my mind gone? They're upstairs, one sec. <clears throat> oh, my back. <clears throat> So Dalton, I don't know if my mind is all over the place due to the bodies coming in and out of the clinic. Is there a soldier in this garrison by the name of Grant? Grant. First or last Grant. name. <clears throat> Not that I personally recognize, sir. Oh, here we go. The thing that will almost kill me. That one, oh, well. no, sir. Out of curiosity, his name showed up in our ledgers as... We have lived through the stairs once more. Here we are. You need this signed? Oh, uh, yes, please. Is it? <clears throat> they really had to put me in a place with a second floor. Just to torment me, perhaps. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you. <clears throat> well, very good. Uh, anything else I could do for you, uh, my major? No. We're on our way to go oh. find the heads of the garrison now. Thank you for your assistance. <clears throat> Long live the Empire and the Eternal Sun. Take care. No shower. <clears throat> <clears throat> Here's a thought, Major. If there is someone in there forging signatures, you've just given them yours. More than likely. That's why I gave it to the scribe and only the scribe. I figured. I figured. Just something to think about. Alright, let's grab there up these COs and talk this out. They're probably yeah, conversing somewhere in a public <clears throat> area. Try the tavern. Agreed. After you.
Ah, mm -hmm. Major, good to see you. My lord. Good to see you. Perhaps <clears throat> inside. So, you really expect me to believe that somehow you managed to sleep up the fucking audience? Sounds like them. <laughs> really? How yeah, yeah. did you think I am? Are we going to tell them that they've been oh, fucked with, the... or Obviously, should we be very no. glad? What do you think, huh? Every single what? day. Tell them we need to tell them off, get them back in line, ensure that they, they are only following orders either sent by you or me. I think. Understood. Thank you, my lord. Line needs to be drawn. You think that no egg has gone this way? This town needs a more hands on approach. Apparently, <laughs> hands on we shall be. What the fuck is going on up there? When I said control yourselves, I meant it. Fucking Get your hands off of him, so Dalton. Yeah. She will not play nice. I don't <sighs> fucking care who did it. Sit down. <sighs> We've conducted our investigation. And me and the Lord Erdhart have both come to a conclusion. That being that you will both going from this point forward, ensure that you are working in unison and complete unison. Any orders that you are given and or receive will be double checked by me and the Lord Erdhart. And you will only follow orders from me and him. And I'm sure if either part of the garrison is found lacking in their duties, punishments for both sides will be handed out accordingly. Am I correct, Lord of Earth? Absolutely. Sergeant, from you, I expect... Sergeant. Daily reports on everything that is occurring, all the orders you have listened to and adhered to. I will be checking them over personally. And if something doesn't line up, I will be returning here with the Major, and I will be fucking livid. Same to you, Lieutenant. What we had spoken about still applies. <clears throat> you are alive as such as I jurisdicted. Follow your orders and you'll stay that way. Yes, Herr Major. Good. The issue with the patrols has been rectified. Going forward, again, you'll only be listening to myself or the Major, or my father. <clears throat> Nothing else. And the issue with the kitchen as well has also been rectified. We will be sharing some of our supply lines to allow the Imperials to get fresh supplies, so they need not starve nor eat rotten food. In return, the kitchens will be returned to the rightful owners. Agreed, Major? Effective immediately. Very well. <clears throat> Good. If I have to come First back supply here... supply chain will have everything you need. ...and you two aren't best friends, I will be very upset. Don't upset me. Of course. Of course not. My lord. Any other issues? No. I think no. No. Good lad. Major? I believe that is all. Expect your shipment and reinforcements here soon, so Dalton. Yeah, yeah, Major. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> I see a lot more paperwork in my future. 
Have a nice day, my lord. <sighs> it's a gorgeous little town. It's a shame. Everything's happened. We've seen plenty of strife. Yes. You see that looking out at the water. Tyler, you see the sawtooth ship not too far off once more, having moved near Casetto. Excuse me. It's my big sword. Everything's all in order. The garrison will handle both that other soldier and. I agree. What is it? I believe it's time we head back then. Let's see what they've burnt down while we've been gone. Probably more than we can imagine. Hopefully there's nothing left. Have a nice day, my lord. And you. Be safe. As you come over to your horses, you can see they've been given both oats and cold water and groomed while you were waiting. So we did as we asked. <laughs>